I got a lot of questions about how I analyze the market using the treasury curve. So I want to go over that for you. If I take this off, what I did in the week ahead that I was really proud of because I think it's really good is I overlapped the null ZN times four minus UB. Let's try that again. ZN times four minus UB. <laughs> Apply. Okay. So what we were looking at in the week ahead and what I think is driving the trade right now is this back end of the yield curve, guys. This is the difference between 10 year. It's really technically the difference between seven year rates and 30 year rates. And that's the purple line. Watch what happens when I, instead of the S&P futures, we could just do the SPX. It's the same thing. Watch what happens when I invert this, just subtract it. That's when you're going to see that they're really correlated. And you'll notice today, this morning, the back end of the yield curve is selling off. Coincidentally, the market is trying to rally. Okay? We want to be creative in how we look at the market, guys. We want to look at things differently than everybody else. And I promise you, this is different than how everybody else is looking at the market. Okay? Does anybody not follow this? If you follow this, if this makes sense, can you put a yes in the chat, please? If this doesn't, you can say no. I want you to understand that. This is what we're going to look at for the whole week. What we looked at in the past, for the last month, we've been looking at the S&Ps against the emerging markets, right? We're going to do a little change. Instead of just looking at the emerging markets, I think treasuries are, are dominating the story right now. So we no longer want to look at this. We're going to move over and really look at the difference between the back end of the yield curve and the S&Ps. Okay? I got a lot of yeses, a couple of noes, so I'm going to go over it a little bit. Simon, what's up? Good morning. Okay, Julie is saying, I don't really understand what you mean by the back end of the yield curve. Um, Fed.gov. I'm off screen, just going to our website. Okay, so when I say, if we're looking at the back end of the yield curve, guys, and if you haven't taken bond boot camp, this might be a little overwhelming. It's going to be a little overwhelming. Okay, this is the difference between 10 year and 30 year. Okay, it's the, it's the correct ratio. It's taken directly from CME, Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Please give me the benefit of the doubt that this is correct. Okay, that's, I mean, it, it is, <laughs> I promise. So the back end of the yield curve, selling off, selling off, selling off. Everybody was talking about we're going to have a flat yield curve. We're going to be in an inverted yield curve. And if we do so, it's going to be recessionary. So that became a big story. Well, it started to get very, very steep the same time that the market started to sell off strong. Okay. So it started to get very steep. Now, the market started to sell off right here. I think 10-1. And by the way, this is more important to me for you guys to understand this than to understand like, you know, um, I can't get filled at 30 cents. Do you think I should go to 35 cents to buy my options? Okay, this is what's important. So if we look here, 10.3, right? And here is going to be 10.3. Important thing that traders need to do is you're always trying to figure out who the alpha male is, who is in charge, what's driving the trade right now. Right now, in my opinion, 
treasuries are, are driving the trade. So, so look at the, you know, is this a coincidence that all of a sudden after this major, major, major move, it turned at the same time the S&P's turned. It's not an accident, right? It's not a coincidence. So all I'm saying is now that this is rallying, which is very different than it's done in a long time, by bringing on a weekly, look at that. Now that it's rallying, if it continues to rally, which is a change in historic behavior, going back to 2016, the equity market's gonna have a change in behavior as well. So that's why I want you looking at this. And if this starts going down, then you could be more confident in the S&P rallying and the S&P finding a floor. Okay. Jay, does that make sense? Simon, does that make sense? And all you can do is just put this formula into your thinkorswim or into whatever platform you're using. All you're doing is you're taking four times the 10 year futures contract and you're subtracting the ultra futures contract. I see, I see. And the reason you're doing that is because it's the dollar value of a basis point, which you are trying to even out. Okay. Simon, that's really sweet. I am not a godsend. I just know trading. Take me out of trading, and nobody's going to think I'm smart. Nobody's going to think I'm a godsend. <laughs> and I say that in the, in the most humbly <laughs> way possible. So, this is what we learn in bond boot camp. But if we look at the null, which is what this chart is, tens against ultra, it's four by one. Okay? This is not something I'm making up. This is how professionals trade interest rate futures. And then I take that information about, and then I take that information and pertain it to what's going on in the market right now. Sue, so, sure. So I shared this sheet with everybody. It's just ZN times four minus UB. This changes every once in a while. But for those who are interested in learning this or getting more familiar with this, this is Bond Bootcamp. But the benefits of Bond Bootcamp don't necessarily mean can I make some money this week. It's gonna show you how to follow things like this, which you may not be following at all, which nobody's following. This is big boy stuff. So that's what we're watching. If this continues to rally, we're gonna get very, 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 very bearish the overall market. If this goes all the way lower and flattens back to where it was, that's when you could expect the S&Ps and the equity market to rally. And what that's called, guys, that's gonna be our bias for the week. That's gonna be what's driving our trade for the week. 